Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY tissue paper for any project that you want. So what we're going to use is that white paper that you find inside your shoe boxes. Yes, it's a blank tissue paper. And you can even go to the shoe store and maybe ask for a piece or two. Next I'm going to take a black marker and draw some faces. You can basically draw anything that you want, lines, you can do patterns, you can do writing. I'm just going to do some faces. And it's important to use a permanent marker because we're going to attach it with some glue later and we don't want the image to smear. We want the image to be really crisp and clear. So use a permanent marker. You can choose whatever thickness of tip you want. It can be thin or thick. You can do a mix when you draw whatever it is you are drawing on your tissue paper. Also, because the paper is very thin, be very careful when you draw on it. Don't apply too much pressure or the paper will, the paper will tear and you don't want that. So I'm drawing a few faces and again you can draw whatever you want these are very basic faces not too elaborate or realistic and of course you can use other colors of permanent markers you don't have to just use black you can use whatever type of marker you have as long as it's permanent and the color that you want, you can mix and match colors to make your tissue paper more colorful and more interesting. So once you're done with drawing your shapes, I'm going to cut around them. Now if you're making a pattern, obviously you can't cut around them, but if you are drawing a shape, it's better to cut around the shape because then when you attach the tissue paper to your project, it will embed itself better and look as part of your project of your project better than if you just add a large piece of paper. So I have here a paper that I've already done the background, just stenciled a few circles and sprayed a little bit. You can use whatever paper that you want for this as the background. You can make your own background or use pattern paper. Now I need some gel medium. Gel medium is a type of acrylic medium that is a glue that dries very clear. And what you're going to do is take a brush and apply your gel medium on the paper, on the background paper. And then attach your tissue paper shape to the background paper and cover it with another layer of gel medium. Now what that does is simply embeds the tissue paper to the background. So it looks like the tissue paper is part of the background and not just a paper glued on it. And you can achieve that because the tissue paper is so thin and the gel medium covers it completely and gives it that transparent look where there is no marker. So basically you're creating another layer of the background or these can also be focal points for whatever art journal page or another project that you're making. So just make sure not to apply too much gel medium because you don't want too many bubbles or too many or too much glue and you can also do what I do and apply the glue directly to the back side of your cutout tissue sh paper shape and then cover it with the top layer of the gel medium or you can apply the gel medium directly to the background paper and then attach your shape doesn't really matter as long as there is a top coat of gel medium and a, uh, a bottom coat of gel medium because the tissue paper needs to be completely 
covered. So you continue to do that until all your shapes are attached. If you are doing a pattern on your tissue paper, then simply take larger pieces of the tissue paper and attach them to the background and it will look like you drew or stamped the pattern. The next part is just basically finish your page. You can do whatever you want on the page. You can add more embellishments, more color. Before you do that, you need to completely let the gel medium dry. If you have a heat tool, then you can use that to make sure it's dry. If you don't have a heat tool, just leave it for a few hours and it will dry on its own. Now once it's dry, you can basically do anything on it that you want because the gel medium also functions as a sealer. So basically you sealed in your tissue paper so you can add details on it, you can glue things on it, you can write on it with any type of marker or colored pencil, you can add acrylic paints. You can do whatever you want on top of your tissue paper to add more details and more interest. So I'm just going around the images with a white marker to make them pop out more and make my page a little bit more interesting. And then I think I'm going to maybe add some writing. And if you're wondering why the page is not even on both sides is because I made it to be not even. Looks a little bit more interesting this way. I have a bunch of these uneven pages that I'm going to attach together later and make a little art journal. So basically this technique is really easy. You can make any size of your own DIY tissue paper that you want with any color, any pattern, any drawing, or any writing. As long as you make sure it doesn't tear and you add it to any type of project with gel medium. You can also add it to canvas, to wood if you want to cover a wood box or add this to a mixed media canvas. You can add it to cardstock of course, to chipboard, to any type of surface, even glass. You can even add it and decorate glass vase or something like that. The gel medium will glue to everything. I'm just going to add a little bit of distress ink and then finish finish my page. I really hope you like this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to do all the projects that I teach you. I'm just adding a few more circles with some distress inks and stencils to have a contrast to the green I'm adding a little bit of red. So thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you like this tutorial and I will see you next time.